Oh my god, how's we're out of crisps? What, are you sure? I've looked everywhere, even down the side of the sofa. None. Well, I guess we could just use these things to make some. What is up, tube users? Shout out to our nine subs. No one needs to know they're all our relatives. Moving swiftly on. Today we will be making potato crisps and we will be testing the best way to flavour those homemade potato crisps. Then we'll be doing a taste test to see which ones are better. There'll be a few surprise crisps added in there too. Just to, just to make it a bit more interesting. Just to mix it up. So we have our ingredients here. We're going to go for salt and vinegar because it's easy. Because it's easy and it's my favourite. Because it's easy. What we will do is start by slicing the potatoes up and then we will talk you through for four different methods of flavouring. So first of all, we are peeling potatoes. As you can see, has here. She is doing it very well. If you are a child watching this video, please remember to not do it like has. Next, we are chopping up the potatoes. They should be one eighth of an inch. Um, is that about right? Maybe. Why are we using this tape measure anyway? Surely it'd be better to use a ruler or something. And you question my methods. Why am I questioning your methods? I don't know. Let me interrupt this time lapse to mark your posture. It's really aching my back. Maybe I should. How's that? But that now... looks a lot more sensible. But now I feel like I'm really far away. You are quite far away. So we got a pile of lovely crisps. They actually look quite tasty like this. My stepdad Mark, he eats these and raw. One of my sisters used to when my mum was cooking dinner. Don't follow in your stepdad's footsteps. No? Don't taste that great. Now group them into four, boy. Yeah. This is one and two. I'm a genius and I split this in half because they take separate, di different times. Then toss. I love it when my husband tosses. Jake, you look so good tossing. Welcome to the family friendly cooking show. Toss it now, toss it good. Mm. Toss that <coughs> just like you should. I'm also available for hen parties. Second recipe. All in a bowl. That's probably enough. Somebody's uh I didn't overreact, I reacted the perfect amount. And a bit of salt. I like it when you grind. Grind really well. Followed by a toss. Yeah. Good old grind and toss. That's it, up close and personal. Goes in at 200. We preheated the oven, um, so we're opening it up. I cleaned it last week. Yeah, nice little bit of background there. We'll take the first batch out in 15 minutes. Oh, they're looking quite tasty. Well, they're looking quite burnt, aren't they? You ready to do the run? So they need um, resalting. Maybe put it into your hand and then sprinkle. No? I don't like that idea. No, okay. They're not looking as tasty, to be honest. No, these are looking pretty brown. Crisps 3. Turn the oven up to 230. We need cool. to boil these slices. For how long? Three minutes. So they've come off a boiling pan. This probably could have done with an extra minute, but I'm too anxious about breakage. Then we will put these lots in the mixing bowl. You're good at draining things, aren't you? Thank you. I like to drain souls as well, so if you need anyone for that, let me know. That's why we're married, because gingers don't have souls! Oh! 
is 15 minutes into the future. There are flying cars and robots and crisps. So this is batch free. These go in the oven at 240 degrees. 230. 230 degrees for 40 minutes. 15. 15 minutes. And batch four. This is one I'm most looking forward to because they're going to be soaked for 10 minutes in some lovely, lovely flavoursome sauces. Vinegar. Vinegar. And then you want to put all of the salt in first and stir for vinegar until it dissolves. My hands are too oily. That's that dissolved. We now add in the slices. Slices, and they need to soak for 10 minutes. So they've been soaking for just over 10 minutes. Arm day, am I right? <laughs> Arm day at the gym. <laughs> cool, so they go in the oven for how long? Between 30 and 45, so we'll check up on them in half an hour. Batch number four. Ooh. Oh, they look good. Some of them look good. Mm, yeah, they look mediocre. We'll be right back with a blind taste test once they've cooled. And we're back. And it's time for the blind taste test. Blind taste test. Blind taste test. So we will be taking it in turns. And we will be rating each crisp on two levels. Crisp penis. And the second will be flavour. Also, we've got, we've got a store brand of crisps in there somewhere. I'll sit back. Oh, no. Ah, tell me when you're gonna go in, because I'm scared. Okay, I'm going in. It's very crispy. Um, maybe too crispy. Um, and in terms of flavour, the only flavour I'm getting is burnt. Flavour's gonna be one, because that's horrible. It's almost too crispy, so let's go two and a half for crispiness. Next, crisp. So for that one, crispiness, I've got to give a zero because it wasn't crispy at all. Flavour, I will give a... There's a bit more flavour there. Um, a two and a half for flavour on that one. Crispiness of four, flavour, I'm not really getting much, it's going to have to be a two. <laughs> it's obvious that that one's <laughs> definitely store bought. Two and a half on crispiness, but flavour is five. That's oh, a five on flavour. I'm going to go... You can take your blindfold off now, that was the last one. Zero. On both accounts? On both accounts. Okay. Alright, are we ready? Born. I remember one's this side and five is this side. It's coming in. <laughs> oh, that tastes really good. I'd give that like a three. A, a, a three and a half. Let's three go and a half? It. And crispiness, I don't know, it was half of it was a little bit soggy, but the other half was really nice. So, just like a two. Have you signalled? Yep. Yeah. Incoming. Now it's tasted really strong. So like a four, but a crispiness, uh, 1.5. Come in, by the way. <laughs> Hell, I forgot to signal. Oh, I think we've got a number two. <laughs> <laughs> uh. That's gonna just have to be a zero flavour <laughs> and a, a one crispiness. Ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's really soggy. I think that's gonna have to be a one on both. One on both? Maybe a zero, actually, sorry, on um, crispiness. Incoming. <laughs> <laughs> I want that with my fifth. A five and a five. I don't know what the hell you were on about saying it's not crispy enough. So we made our homemade crisps and uh, mixed results. 
you do want to buy store-bought ones because they are no doubtably and unanimously, unanimously the winner. Yeah. Yeah. But guys, thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed. If you are a family member and you haven't subscribed yet, what are you doing? And if you're not a family member and you have subscribed yet, what are you doing? Well, <laughs> exactly. So thank you for watching. We appreciate it. Check out our other videos. We will upload every Sunday. So see you next week.